What's going on, everyone? Jared Vanderbilt. We need him back desperately. <laughs> uh, we could use Jared Vanderbilt back more than anybody. Uh, obviously, it'd be nice to start getting all of our pieces in, but Vandal's the one guy that could be you know, real impact game changer for the Lakers. His ability on both sides of the basketball, touch on that more in a little bit, but we keep getting conflicting reports. Well, really just one conflicting report. It seems like the consensus is like, hey, he's going to be back, or it appears that he's on trajectory to be back and then you got uh cbs sports that's like no he's probably not coming back but even that report was like very conflicting in and of itself it's like in one sentence it says jared vanderbilt's not coming back and then the next it's like but there is belief that he will however <laughs> it's unlikely that he will and it's just like I, I don't know i think it's one of those things where he's probably going to come back at like the playoffs or the play-in and he'll miss the season, and it's like, oh, well, yeah, you were right. Um, but hopefully he's back sooner rather than later. However, we got another report. Uh, this time, it's from Jovan Buha of The Athletic that says, yeah, uh, it's very optimistic uh, that Jared Vanderbilt will be back. So according to Jovan Buha of The Athletic, there is internal optimism within the organization that Vanderbilt will be able to come back before the Lakers' final regular season game on April 14th. Now, this is huge for the Lakers. In a perfect world, right? Hopefully he's back a handful of games before. Like, I would love if he's back by, like, our first game in April, maybe our second game in April, just so that way he has time to kind of get his legs under him, get into a rhythm, get his game legs ready to go for that in-season tournament, for the playoffs, because we're going to need him. We're going to need him badly. Right, his ability to defend the best player on the other team, slow them down, have that impact. I mean, we just don't have anyone else close to what Jared Vanderbilt does at the level in which he does. Right, Guys like Cam Reddish have been pretty good for us this year. If you get Gabe Vincent back, that's a point of attack guy. But one, Gabe Vincent doesn't have the size and versatility that Jared Vanderbilt has, nor the, the insane athleticism. And then Cam Reddish, he has the size and the athleticism, and he's been very good defensively, but he just doesn't have like the discipline and just that that understanding to the level of Jared Vanderbilt, at least on the defensive side of things. So Jared Vanderbilt needs to come back, and the sooner he can come back, the better. Obviously, you don't want to rush him back to the point where it's like he ends up getting hurt again, and now you're in trouble all over, and now instead of him at least playing in the playoffs and having him as a body, he's out. But if he's good to go and you can – get him uh, out there on the court with, we'll say, like at least five games left. So that way he can – because there's a lot that goes into defense. I know people look at it and just go, oh, eh, but all he plays is defense. Yeah, you still need to have your legs under you and be able to shift and slide and move and, and recover. Also, you need to have your timing down on what – how to react, when to react, how to read. Like there's just a lot that goes into defense outside of just like, oh, you just stay in front of the guy. Right, so Jared Vanderbilt, you saw last go around, it took him, you know, like 10 games or so to really get back to seeing the Jared Vanderbilt that we know and love and know that he's capable of being. So hopefully, um, hopefully we get him back and it's not something where it's like, oh, you know, last game of the season, April 14th, he's playing. Like, I don't, I, it'd be great. Don't get me wrong, I'm be excited. Uh, but I'd like it sooner rather than later. And look, we know that he's been ramping up. Um, you know, he's still on non-contact, but he's been doing the strength exercising, the the uh, the resistant band training. He's been doing things to kind of just get his body right. Those are all good signs that he should be back. Because look, I mean, originally we thought he was out for the year. Um, again, we're still not out of the woods yet. Like, I don't want people to take this as like, oh, that's it, Vando's back 100%. No, like, even in the Jovan report, it's like there's optimism, you know, it, that that he'll be back. That doesn't mean that, oh, yeah, he's expected. That doesn't mean anything. It just means that, like, based on how he's he's been reacting, the progression he's making, he should, based on said timeline, be able to be back in time for, you know, the final game or two uh, of the end, end of the season, which... Again, would be fantastic. So we should fully expect Jared Vanderbilt to be back. That'll be exciting. Cam Reddish, 
In other news, Cam Reddish, he is returning. He is available to play tonight. We'll see if he plays and how much he plays, but he is good to go. Um, he is supposed to play against the Philadelphia uh, 76ers. Uh, Torian Prince is out uh, for personal reasons. You know, um, I'm sure some people <laughs> are probably happy to hear that because they know that Darvin Ham isn't going to play him 30 minutes. But Darvin Ham has done a better job of not playing him a ton of minutes. And also with Torian Prince, he's been one of our best three-point shooters. He's been very good this year. So, you know, that, that's definitely a piece that, that we need and could use. But Cam Reddish coming back, we're starting to get there, right? Got Max Christie, Cam Reddish. Hopefully Cam Reddish is back and he stays back because he did come back and was back for, you know, a game and then he missed the game and then he came back and then he missed and, and then he played like three minutes in one. It's just so hopefully this is him. All right, I'm back. You can get in stride, get in rhythm. Um, hopefully there's no significant uh, issues or nothing that like limit him minute wise or anything. Hopefully he he's good to go. I, I'm sure Darvin Ham's going to play it safe with him and kind of slowly build him. But man, we really need uh, to start getting our defense piece back, really start gaining and getting our defensive identity. Uh, that's that's a real problem we have right now is we don't really have that defensive identity. An excellent offensively, offensively, no questions about that in that regard, but the defensive side of things is just we're, we've been atrocious. We've been like 27th in defense. It's just we got to at least be serviceable. We got to at least be middle of the pack, uh, especially these last – got 13 games left. No time to mess around, but – Start getting these guys back will be in good shape. Uh, Gabe Vincent. So, Gabe Vincent, he's still, again, that CBS report says that he's not coming back. We've gotten several reports, even one soon, as recent as, what, two days ago now, uh, where he's he's fully expected to come back. He's going to play at some point this season. He's determined to do so. Like, he, it's his mission to come back and play. Um yeah, because, I mean, he's only played five games this year, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, if I was him, it's like, dude, I need to show, improve myself, right? I need to contribute in some manner. And if he comes back and plays well for these last 13 games, all right. Like, you help us get into that A seed. All right, we'll forgive you. Let's let's get let's get to business here. Let's go win this. Let's go win this, uh, this in-season tournament game and then take it from there. But... In general, we, we really need, again, like I said, start getting these guys back. Right? Christian Wood, he's out. He, he's, he's likely done for the season, depending on how far the Lakers go in advance. Uh, maybe he comes back at some point, but more likely than not, um, Christian Wood, we, we, we could end up not seeing him on the basketball court again. Um, but you know, if we get to like the second round of the playoffs, uh, I know some people aren't as optimistic as I am, but hey, you never know. Matchups are everything. You get in, you play the Thunder in the first round. I think the Lakers are in the second round, uh, personally. But so Christian Wood, probably not returning. Uh, Gabe Vincent, though, he should be back. Jared Vanderbilt, you got Max Christie, Cam Reddish. Boom. All of a sudden, you got your four key defensive pieces. And all of a sudden, you are, you can start finding that defensive identity start finding that proper balance leading into the playoffs or or the play in tournament. I mean now now we're now we're cooking, right? So that's the goal. That's the hope. As always, this is a discussion. I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think? How do you feel? Do you think that uh Vanderbilt will return? Do you think uh that he'll be back before the season is over? Uh how many games do you want him back? Do you not care? You just like, hey, you know, take Jared Vanderbilt, obviously, we want Jared Vanderbilt, period. I'll take Jared Vanderbilt, even if it is the last game, even if it is the first game of the play-in tournament, whatever, right? Just give me Jared Vanderbilt. We need him and his impact on just both sides of the basketball. Uh, just He's too valuable for this Lakers team. Um, you know, So if we can get him back, then that'd be great. Do you think we get him back? Uh, Gabe Vincent, do you think Gabe Vincent comes back? Um, do you think that if he does, are you, are you, cause I know that there's kind of like these split camps, right? Some people are really just like, ah, I don't even care about Gabe Vincent anymore. Some people are like, no, nah, like we really need Gabe Vincent. Great point of attack, defensive guy, three and D style point guard. Like he's somebody that can really help. Um, you know, 
or, or which camp are you in? Do you, do you like the idea of all these guys? To me, it's just getting them all back and just having and start building, as I said earlier, our defensive identity. We have zero, and we could really use something like that. So if we can get our, our defense in order and our defense in line leading into the playoffs, that's going to be huge for this team. Um, but in general, what are your thoughts of Cam Reddish coming back? Uh, Christian Wood being out. I ever feel whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Helps me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thanks.